The liberties of a people depend on their own constant attention to its preservation. A decent and manly examination of the acts of government should not only be tolerated, but encouraged. I contend that the strongest of all governments is that which is most free. The chains of military despotism once fastened upon a nation Ages might pass away before they could be shaken off. There's nothing more corrupting, nothing more destructive of the noblest and finest feelings of our nature than the exercise of unlimited power. Conscience, that vice tyrant of God in the human heart, whose still small voice the loudest revelry cannot drown. It is preposterous to suppose that a thought could for a moment have been entertained that the president placed at the Capitol in the center of the country could better understand the wants and wishes of the people than their own immediate representatives who spend a part of every year among them, living with them, often laboring with them, and bound to them by the triple tie of interest, duty, and affection. 